Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by my channel. This is Color Creatively and I'm Sandy. This is a gigantic art haul and I finally did one. Um, I think I've got enough to last me quite a while. I may give some of these books away and giveaways. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I wanted to go through them and give you a quick overview of, of some of the stuff that I've recently purchased in my art haul. I got these from Kurataki Pearl Watercolors and the Starry Watercolors, which are golds and silver, and I can't wait to try them. Haven't done it yet, so I will be using these, and they are again from Japan, Kurataki. So uh, that is in my art hall. Enchanting Fairies, Color Haven, uh, sorry, Creative Haven, not Color Haven. And uh, I'm not going to do a flip through of every book, but I am going to show you just a few pictures. There's flip throughs on other channels. If you would like a complete flip through of one of these books, then please leave a comment and I will do one. Otherwise, I'm just going to do this art haul and give you an idea of some of the books that are out there. Here's another one, Elegant Angels, and this is by... Marty Noble, one of my favorite artists, and look how gorgeous that is when it's colored in. Just some beautiful, I, I'm having trouble here, my stack is pretty high. Beautiful color pictures, beautiful. I know a lot of you asked me for an art haul, so I just decided I would do one. I've been collecting and buying for a month or month and a half. This is Flower Mandalas by um, Marty Noble also. There's an example of one in the back. And these are simple and yet some are more complex than others. And this is probably a good place for me to start on mandalas. I love the black background. So there a lot of that work of making a background done for you. That's flower mandalas. Now this one is Dream Horses and it's by Marjorie Sarnat. She's awesome too. I love the Creative Haven artist. Okay, let's go to the back. Here's a picture of one of the pictures colored in. And that one, I can't wait to do that one. They're in love. I just love that picture. And they're, this, this is going to be a book I keep and work in. Beautiful. Okay, we have Creative Kittens, Kittens by Marjorie Sarnat. And you probably know her because she's well known for this book. But these are books that I've gotten recently. And I know they've been around a while, but I haven't had them. So, and I don't think they ever get old. I think that there's always people who want to color the pictures in them and they will color them and recolor them. It's just beautiful work that this Marjorie Sarnat does. And I love the creative kittens. This one is Western Screen Legends by Tim, excuse me, by Tim Foley. And it's a heavier dark lines, as you see. Let me show you one that's colored in already. That'll, these are Western uh, legends of uh, famous actors and actresses in the Western movies. And the lines are very heavy. And markers work excellent on this. And it just gives it another dimension. So I'm going to do some work in here and be able to... Um, show you. There's Dale Evans and Roy Rogers. Now am I dating myself? Because I was a little kid when they were popular on TV. Um, and just some gorgeous pictures of actors you know. Uh, Clint Eastwood in that one. So, Screen Legends. Another Creative Haven book is by Marty Noble, Enchanting Fairy Tale Scenes. And I'll show you one that's colored in here in the back. Gorgeous. And we'll flip through a little bit on this book too. 
Some are more detailed than others, just like every book. And these are the fairy tales. I bought that because I don't have a fairy tale book. Angela Porter, Butterflies, Entangled Butterflies. She's done other work, uh, two other books, I believe, and they're about entangled designs. And you may have those books. This is gorgeous. Can't wait to color this. They are very, some are very detailed. Um, but that is relaxing to me to get my colored pencils and sit and do a lot of detail work. I love it. And in certain areas, I will do markers. But uh, I just think these pictures are awesome. And if you like butterflies, you might like this book. This is a new book. I believe it just came out this year, 2019. No, it was 2018, but I do have a couple in here for 2019. I'm not sure which ones they are now. This is Floral Mosaics. And while that looks sort of funny, these drawings, this is how they look when they're colored. And I think they turn out gorgeous. I'll show you this one too. The Rose. But um, markers would really be great on this. And you might want to take the pencils and do some shading in the background on the mosaic uh, or stained glass windows. Now I purchased these books for other people but never got them for myself. So I do have them for myself. And it's a Forest Diver. And these are Julia Rivers books. I believe I have three of them here. I'll get them together. Um, the drawings are exquisite. They're very detailed. They're very different. These are like fairies in the woods, and her body is turning into a tree on the other one. I missed it. It's just awesome, awesome. I can't wait to do some of these pictures and make backgrounds for them. The next one is uh, Enchanted, well this was Enchanted Forest, I don't know if I said that, by Forest Diver. This is Enchanted Forest, Guardians of the Enchanted Forest. That was the hidden spirits of the, of the um, Enchanted Forest. And Guardians of the Enchanted Forest. Just, again, beautiful, beautiful artwork. I mean, there's just so many wonderful artists out there for the coloring world, for colorists, for people interested in coloring. They're gorgeous. And this is Keepers of the Enchanted Forest. I love this kind of drawing and I love detail. That's why I like Kirby Rosanis and all his books too. Okay. Again, if you want to have a complete flip through of a, a specific book, please leave me a comment and I'll do that. Saturday Evening Post, Americana. And this reminds me of growing up and have, seeing the Saturday Evening Post. And these are pictures from that artist from that time period. Um, very nostalgic, bring back a lot of memories. Very great when colored. Okay, and then we have Lovable Cats and Dogs coloring book. And this one's by Ruth Stouffer, also a great artist with um, Creative Haven. That's one of them colored in. Dogs, lovable dogs, cats, beautiful. I love dogs and I love cats. I love them both. I don't have a cat. My son's highly allergic to cats and he wouldn't be able to visit me if I had one. But I have a dog and that doesn't seem to bother him. Okay, I'm almost at the end. Magic in the air and sea. I'm going to be doing a color along in this one coming up in the next couple months by Molly Harrison, and these are grayscale pictures, 
Just gorgeous work. Gorgeous work. And the last one is going to be for a color along. I'm doing it in the, the very near future. And I don't know how to pronounce it. Zimlaja Nesnova. I'm not how to pronounce it. The off, uh, artist is Tomislav Tomic. And I understand this is one of his first, this was his first book. Um, let me move these over and then let me open it up this way. It's, they're double sided. Um, a lot of them have double sided, uh, what is it? Uh, pictures that run to, I, I can't wait to do this one. For some reason, I want to do this ship here. Uh, what I'm trying to say is the pictures cover, you know, one picture covering two pages. These are not, but some of them are. And like I said, I won't do a complete flip through of this. Um, this is another intriguing one with the dragons that I like. Anyway, these are gorgeous and I would like to get his second book but I gotta save up my money for that. So that was my art haul and I hope you've enjoyed it. Like I said, let me know what you think in the comments below and if you get anything out of this channel or, or uh, would like to subscribe, don't forget to ring the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. Thank you, and thank you for coming by. So until we meet again, happy coloring.